Hi, welcome back to my channel, Michelle, and today I want to share with you what I got everybody else for Christmas. So I've seen a lot of videos on what I got my kids for Christmas. I will not be doing one of those videos this year. One, because I don't want to spoil the surprise for my kids. Two, they're always around me, so there's no way I could film what I got them without them finding out. So I thought it'd be fun to actually show what I got nephews, niece, aunts, uncles, grandparents, extended family gifts. So I will start with my side of the family. So I have five nephews and one niece. The ages are from six all the way up to 17. So we'll start with the oldest. I think for that age group, the easiest thing to do is gift cards or money. So I will give him a Christmas card with $40 in it. And I think that's a good amount for that age and they can figure out what they want to do with it. Next would be my other nephew. So I got him an Echo Dot. This was one of those Cyber Monday deals, and I thought, you know, he likes music. It will work well. It also has an alarm clock feature, so I feel like he'll like it. Next would be my one niece. So I actually went to a local shop by me, and I love to shop local when possible. And this shop sells handmade jewelry and different... It sells handmade things from different people in the community, so they all get together and they sell different things. For example, these earrings, I don't know if you can see them right here, a little gingerbread, they're handmade earrings from there, super cute. This bracelet, same thing, it is made from that store. Love it. So I thought it'd be nice to get my niece some things from there. So it comes in these little cute pouches. I thought this was nice. So the first thing I got her was this oil. And this is for, and it comes with a little, card in here that says what it's for but um for especially for teenage girls I think things that <laughs> acne dry skin things like that that help will be nice and it's in a pretty little bottle very nice so she'll be getting that and then I did get some handmade jewelry for her that I thought she would like so again it comes in this little baggie so it is a little necklace with a moon and you can't really see the stone very well because of the light but super cute I think she'll like that and then I got some matching earrings to go with it and again these are all handmade so I thought these would be really cute for her so that is what my niece will be getting All right, onto my other set of nephews for my sister. So for my two older nephews, I got them each a little drone. Again, this was one of those Amazon cyber deals. These are drones, they can fly and they flip and they do different tricks, but they're also battle drones. So I thought brothers would enjoy <laughs> battling each other with their drones. I guess they send little signals to each other and it says if you've been hit or something. So. I thought they would have fun with that. And again, I try to keep the gifts for each nephew or niece between 30 and $40 each. Cause again, I have six of them, so it can add up quickly, but I think these will be fun and the kids will get a kick out of it. So then onto my youngest nephew who is six. I got him this, again, it's an Amazon cyber deal. It's a little, what is it called? It's a remote control truck, but what's cool is that it actually digs because he loves to play in the dirt, so I thought this would be perfect for him. And they, my sister has a huge backyard. But this little part goes up with the remote control and he can move rocks and dirt around. And I thought he would just have fun with it. So that is my side. As, par as far as grandparents and my sister and brother for Christmas, we don't exchange gifts. Like I said, there's I have three kids, my brother has three kids, my sister has three kids, that's nine kids alone. So it can really add up getting each kid something. So we've decided long ago that we would only do gifts for the children because as adults, you know, if there's something we want, we can just get it. So we focus, especially since we have a lot of younger kids now, on just gifts for the kids. So we don't worry about getting gifts for my sister or my brother or my grandmother. So, on to my husband's side. Now, for my husband's side, it's pretty easy. There's no kids on that side. But my husband has two sisters, and of course he's got his parents. 
No, we keep it really easy. What we choose to do for all the adults, so my two sister-in-laws, my in-laws, and grandparents, we just give a gift in their name. So we actually, this is the organization we give to. You definitely wanna be careful with charities that you give to because the money doesn't always go where you think it's gonna go. So this one we feel pretty comfortable with and we've done it multiple years. And what I really like about the ELCA Good Gifts is that if you donate whatever amount you donate, they will send you a card or if you prefer, they will email your recipient. They'll send you a little card of what you can get. So for example, you can buy different things and you can get little ornaments too. You can buy different amounts of things. So $10 will buy you chicks for a family. $15 will buy them a rooster. $20 donation will buy a family honeybees. $30 will buy them a pig and $50 will buy them a goat. And I like how they're like little Christmas themed and super cute. And of course, if you don't want specific Christmas things, they sell other things such as backpack supplies for kids, school supplies, and vaccinations for children in other countries, school fees for a girl to attend school, feed 50 people at a soup kitchen. Again, these are all in different increments too, depending on how much you want to spend per person. And then, some goats. So what we usually do is we will, for each person, make a specific amount donation. And again, they will send you these ornaments for free. So we like to actually give something physical on Christmas. And again, they will send the cards for the gift free too. So for example, if you bought chicks, you'll get this cute little card and it's actual cardstock. And then it will tell you on the side what their gift specifically was and what it went for. And I feel like that's really nice. So we usually just sign it. And for example, if we bought the chicks, we would also include the little ornament, which is free. Again, the ELCA Good Gifts will send you the card and the ornament for free after you make a donation. So we will just stick that in there. And I just think it's a really cute gift. So I'll show you some of the other cards they have. And again, you'll open it up and it will tell you about that specific gift given in their name. So they have the goat. I just love how they're all little Christmas winter themed ones. The pig's always a big one. We always get pigs and the honeybees. And it also comes with envelopes, obviously. But again, we will stick whatever ornament we decide to get. For example, my mother-in-law is a teacher, so we always do um, either school supplies for a child or she's very into women's health and rights, so we'll do prenatal care for a woman in another country. So we'll include that in there, and that takes care of all of the adults, because frankly, as adults, I think, again, we, if there's something we want, we can just go out and purchase it, and I would much rather use my money to someone who needs it who is in need of something than just another candle or a sweater that the person necessarily doesn't want or really need. So that makes it super easy for all of my husband's side of the family. So with my sister-in-law, my girls did want to get her a special gift. She is going to school to be an art teacher, so she actually had an Amazon wish list full of books. And anytime someone has a book on their list, I love it, I'll get it. So she asked for one of these. So my girls will be giving their aunt this. This is from them. And then they each picked out a book. And this is the other book that they picked out for her. All right, so I got done filming the holiday, what I got everyone for Christmas for extended family video when I realized I forgot to include my husband's coworkers. My husband is a pastor, so he has seven coworkers. So he has visitation pastor, secretary, janitor, the person in charge of music. So different people that work under him that we give gifts to also during the Christmas season. Usually we, this is what we've done in the past. We always do some type of food gift and a gift card to somewhere local. So this year what we did was we got this big bag from Costco. Thought it was really cute. It says holiday cheer. We actually got two of them. And what's inside them is, you can see here, different types of popcorn, seasonal popcorn. 
you want to see the different flavors here but there's seven in each bag so because we have my husband has seven co-workers each of them will get two bags of this and what he's gonna do is he'll just go the day we have the gift cards and he's passing out his gifts he will just open the sack and let people choose whatever flavors they want and then for the gift cards we try to do local places and this year we will be doing a local coffee house that just opened probably about six months ago. And what I love about this coffee house and why I will be purchasing our gift cards there is it's the only restaurant slash coffee house in our entire town that has gluten-free options. And if you didn't know, my five-year-old daughter has celiac disease. So there's nowhere in town she can go to get a treat or something to drink necessarily. So I really appreciate that they go the extra mile, that they also, this coffee house knows what cross-contamination is, which is a big issue with having celiac disease. Their staff is well informed. So I appreciate that. And so we will be getting seven $20 gift cards from that coffee house. And they sell other things like pastries and gluten-free brownies, drinks, all that. So it's not solely just for coffee. It's, they also have a restaurant aspect to it. So that is what we will be giving for my husband's co-workers as well. So that is all the gifts for extended family, for nieces or nephews, niece, and grandparents. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.